Josh Jr. here for another adventure. Well, this adventure, the Josh Jr. Entertainment Mobile Command Center is hooked up right next to the world headquarters of Josh Jr. Entertainment. Got to do something, you know. So, what are we doing? We are going to go camping out South Umpqua Falls Campground. It's a Federal Forest Service campground. No services. That's why I'm taking you guys along. So you can see how easy it is to go boondocking. Now, we are not roughing it. I do have a generator in the back. And I'll explain my methodology on the generator on how often we use it when we're up there. But I just want to take you guys along to show you some incredible scenery, a beautiful campground, and a wonderful time. But let's get things going. Now, for many RVers out there, this is a horrible setup. We have a SUV pulling a travel trailer. Ooh, bad thing. Well, let's talk about this. And this is also explained in an earlier video, but I like doing it again. But here's the important part. We have a 1999 Terry Travel Trailer Light, Northwest Edition. Gross vehicle weight, 5,800 pounds. In my estimate, the way it's set up right now, we are probably running about 4,900 pounds right now. I have scaled this thing before. We are using a good weight distribution hitch. I do not use anti-sway on this because I have my weight distribution locked down very tight. With that, Oh, yes, we, this has been scaled. We took it, they've taken it across the scales. I have approximately 500 pounds of tongue weight on the back of this. Payload capacity is 1,300 pounds, something like that with this. And we don't have much stuff in the back. We have 10 gallons of water, a generator, a few things up there. So we're doing, plus the two of us, but there's also the, the Simon. That little fat pug might weigh too much. He might break my axles. So we are pretty much set up. All we got to do is put up the tape, the stairs, unhook the power, shut and lock the door, close this, and drive off. So it's a very simple setup. We like it this way uh, because of the little cubby hole we park it in. I can't go any bigger, which is fine. We just like this little setup. It's two of us with the Simon, of course. And it's a fun little setup.
everybody. Here is our camps, camping spot. We are pretty well boondocking it. No services, no water, no sewer, no electricity. Now we have neighbors there, but they have that sign. I don't know if you can quite see. There's a sign right there. And we are with them. And then here is another sign. And so I'm assuming that these neighbors over here are with us as well. So we are at South Umpqua Falls Campground. Space 19. Fire pit. We did not bring any firewood. Somebody threw a diamond here. I guess that goes towards the fuel fund, right? The downside about this spot is that's the main road. I'm not too wild about that. But that's okay. So we're going to spend about 10 or 15 minutes getting everything set up and start living. So, we are here, South Umpqua Falls Campground. Got the old envelope ready to go, filled out. Dumping three nights of payments, so $30. What a beautiful place. There's a little bit of wind here. Now this is mostly a tent site, but their spaces are big enough for travel trailers. Heck, you could bring a Class A in here and park it if you could find a place to level it. But over there, there is a newer travel trailer with another group with a tent. We got a tent up there on the hill. This is their, I guess this is their group area. And come down to the road to our location. Again, the amenities here are sparse. The only thing they provide is trash and vault toilets. So there's our vault toilets, and there's several of them around here. And recycling. Yes, here in Oregon, recycling is a very big, 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 big thing. And then trash cans there at the vault toilets. So there you go. Okay, and we are all set up too. Took us about 10, 15 minutes. When we go camping, we don't bring much with us because that just interferes in fun times. So we'll catch you back here a little bit later. Simon the Pug, I am sure, will make an appearance. And this will show you how close to the road we are. But I'm not too worried about it. We, oh, speaking of Simon the Pug, there he is. 
Simon. Yes, he's camera shy. But he likes camping. Okay, we'll check back in with you in a bit. Oh, first, we don't have the generator pulled out yet. I'm going to leave it there. But I'll put the generator probably back here where it's damper. Damper. More moist. The ground is more, a little bit more wet. And I'll point the exhaust that way towards the road so it does not bother the neighbors too much on either side of us. I'll show you that once it's set up and I'll show you how noisy it is once it's running or allow you to hear how noisy or quiet it is once it's running. Okay. The next morning life for today can begin. Yeah. It's ready. So here is little Predator 3500 ge inverter generator from Harbor Freight. Let me turn you around here. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. I wasn't sure about its reliability when we got it. But Thing works like a champ so far so kind of happy with it makes it so easier so uh, the missus is a little bit happier can charge the batteries in the command center here so she can uh, have the furnace running in there to warm her up a little bit and then have regular coffee instead of uh, morning mountain man coffee that I would probably make her so we're gonna go in get ourselves put together and we're gonna go off on to the other parts of the adventure which hopefully you'll be able to see a video of um, in the next couple days or so after this one. Oh, of course one one very important thing Simon yes of course Simon the pug And he's still camera shy. See, he doesn't even like looking at the camera. He does not like it at all. It's all about the Simon and his creature comforts. Yes, it's all about the Simon.
all this adventure is over with. Campsite is empty and clean. I like to show that, that we left it in better shape than what it was we got it. So, the Tahoe's there, the trailer's there. We're ready to go home. So thanks a lot for hanging with me on this trip to Umpqua, South Umpqua Falls Campground with the nearby South Umpqua Falls. If, you, if you're in the area, come up here. It's a beautiful place. So for now, everybody, just remember, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine. This is Adventures of Jaws Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya!